Hi, I'm Mr. Russell James. Welcome to the National Critics' mm -hmm. Choice um, here in Singapore. Uh, please tell us more about your future plans for your next book. And we should give uh, some advice for future photographers who aspire to be, uh, to be like you. Hi, I'm Russell James. I'm in Singapore for the Fashion Festival and I've been here, uh, I came here for a Canon uh, Bloggers event to speak about photography. Um, and I also did a signing of my current book, um, which is called Russell James, and my second book, V2. Um, however, in uh, August of this year, uh, I'll be launching a very large competition around photography. And in September, I'll be launching the, uh, my next book, which will be called Nomad Two Worlds. Um, the content of that book speaks a lot about the, where my original passion for photography comes from, which is very much around indigenous culture, and the collaboration between um, the modern day photography and indigenous culture. So I've had the most terrific time in Singapore. I'm looking forward to seeing the Zach Posen show tonight and, and I've um, uh, very much enjoyed being here and speaking to people about my books. And all the best to everybody in Singapore. Uh, Mr. Russell James, could you give us uh, just uh, three points of great advice for aspiring uh, photographers? Yes. Yes. Three points I'd like to give to aspiring photographers. One is don't get pigeonholed, experiment. Uh, what I mean by that is if you like shooting landscapes and you like shooting fashion and you like shooting close-ups, do all of those things. It'll naturally occur to you over time which thing is going to be your thing. But don't limit yourself in terms of what you shoot. Um, the second thing I'd say is um, don't be afraid in what you try. There's a lot of sort of embarrassment about when you shoot a photograph, you're like, oh, maybe this doesn't look good or maybe it's not going to look that good. You learn more from your mistakes than you do from the things you do well. Um, so don't be afraid to just experiment with crazy ideas. Um, if you want to ask your friend to jump up in the air, whatever it may be, if it occurs to you, try it and you'll find out your technical boundaries and your, your, um, how that works. The third thing I would say is if you're going to photograph people, look to have a real connection. Don't make a false connection to people. Before you photograph them and put a lens in their face, um, talk to them about how are you feeling today, I'm so pleased to shoot you, um, where are you from, what's your background, anything that may occur to you depending how well you know the person. But if you have a real connection, it'll come across in the lens when you're photographing them. And Mr. Russell James, uh, what is your secret of your lifetime success? Well, I don't know that I've got a particular secret of, of success. I, I try not to keep it a secret. All I can say is I've been passionate about photography for many years and I've just stayed relentlessly on that path. Um, I think in order to succeed, um, the harder you work, the luckier you will get. So keep shooting and never give up and that's the way to success through photography. And last but not least, just the last question for you Mr. Russell James, what is your philosophy of photography? My, my personal photography is life through the lens. I, I, I live through my lens. I see things uh, and I like to frame them and condense them. I think I live through my lens. Um, another part of what I do in terms of my philosophy is use the lens to great power because the things that you capture, the things that you shoot can have social impact. And I mean, if you show people circumstances, there are images that can be lifting and motivating. Uh, the images that can bring great attention to issues like global poverty. So don't underestimate the power of the lens of a camera um, and social media to get, get that image out there and to, for it to have effect on the world. Thank you, Mr. Russell James, and please keep on looking up for the National Quiz Choice with the high uh, online news. Bye.